Hey everyone, welcome to another Destiny 2 transmog video. I'm your host, Spider Sides, and for today's video, we're gonna do the popular characters in the TV show called Squid Game. I wanna show my version in Destiny 2. It's not gonna be a hard transmog or anything, uh, but everyone's been talking about this show and I really wanted to show which armor pieces and shaders I would use in case you wanna look like this character in the game. So let's get started. So for the helmet, we're actually gonna do this part last and we're gonna actually finish up the body right away. So for the gauntlets, we're gonna stick with the couture grips. I know I butchered that word, don't judge me. And then for the shader, uh, we're gonna go with the sunrise warrior shader. So I'm just gonna select that right here. Now for the body, the chest piece, we're gonna go with the couture jacket and then we're gonna go with the sunrise warrior shader as well. For the legs, uh, I would stick with the refugee boots. I'm sure all hunters have this. It's a white armor piece and then same shader so that way everything flows. For the class armor, we're gonna go with the refugee cloak with the same shader. Now we finished up with the body. Very, very easy. I don't really see any other armor pieces doing a better job personally. Um, this really gives the look. I do believe that maybe around December when we have the 30th anniversary, that chest and arm piece might actually do better, but we'll see later on. Now for the helmet, there are four different options that I would choose. You can go with the Kairos Function Mask, so that way you can get the triangle. I'm not a fan of this mask, only because this part just sticks out a little bit too much. So again, not really a fan, but that is an option. The second one would be the cover of the Exile. If you pair this with the Jacarina shader, you get that nice pitch black look. And if you bring this into the real world like EDZ, this part will actually glow. Now, that would be the second option. The third option would be the Icarus Drifter Mask. And then if you utilize that with, uh, let's take a look here, the Tangled Bronze Shader. I know it's not black, but from afar it actually looks like the character. And I know they only really have a triangle, square, and circle, not an X, but this still symbolizes that character. So that is an option. And then finally, you do have the Wing Contender. This was actually my personal favorite. And then if you pair this with the Kerminica, you get that nice pitch black look. And if we compare it with the image, it looks similar. Obviously, you don't have the symbol on top of it, but it really, um, you know, you could tell. Like if this person was running around in uh, EDZ or anywhere else, you would know right off the bat that this is a character in Squid Game. So I hope you like this video. Thank you so much for watching. Again, not a hard one, but a fun one in my opinion. Uh, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to the channel, like or dislike this video, and let me know what you think in the comments. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, I'll see you next time.